Hello you guys, Dexstar here, and welcome back to my channel! Also, welcome to the fourth day of my 12 days of Christmas! For today's vlog, I've actually been thinking of what are other things that we can actually do at home and be able to make it feel a bit more festive and, you know, make it really have that holiday feel and what better way to actually up up that holiday feel but with food? <laughs> well, if you have seen the very first day of um, my vlog, or this actually 12 days of Christmas, I actually have mentioned that Christmas for me is really all about food and it's all about gathering friends and family and the biggest way to actually pull everybody together is for a meal or for for uh, a celebration and celebration wouldn't be complete without food <laughs> all right so without further ado our vlog today will be all about eggnog all right it's one of the holiday drinks that is really representative of the warmth and the richness of the season all right and with this eggnog, we will actually be doing it three ways. We will be doing three different ways of eggnog, okay? Well, you can have uh, eggnog in different hotels or restaurants and things like that, especially the seasons. They will be serving that to you, be it the traditional way chilled or if you want that warm eggnog for those cold winter days. But it is always a big difference when you do it at home. Home. Okay, so without further ado, let us go into the kitchen and do this eggnog because I'm very excited to do this. Let's go! Alrighty, so here in the kitchen, ready to prepare our eggnog. Alright, so let me give you the ingredients. This might look a lot, but it's really not. Well, so let's start with the eggs we've actually separated the whites from the yolks so this is the egg whites and the egg yolks and of course with our this will be a bit of a naughty eggnog we have brandy over here to be added and then um, for the milk we are using a coconut a mix of coconut and almond milk and then here will be another twist which will be coffee and then this is dark chocolate. And then you have heavy cream. That is uh, granulated white sugar. And there is a pinch of salt right over there. That little pink stuff there. And then you have vanilla. And then here you have your spices. You have cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. And then you have honey. All right. Let us start combining. Let us do this eggnog. All right, so to start our eggnog, we have to combine our spices with our milk. So let's put the rest of this aside for now. Let's put that there, because we'll be needing that later on. What we'll do now is to combine our spices with our milk because this we have to we have to heat this up okay let's give it a bit of a space here so you can actually see what I'm doing all right there so you have your milk and then you have your spices that we'll be putting in and then we have to mix that in we have to mix that in and then we'll heat this up later on Okay, let's first mix it in well. And then we'll put this over the stove to have it simmer and steam for a little bit. All right, so we have our milk on the stove top right here and we are making sure that this is getting heated up. We're putting it on low. We just need it to come up to a boil and then we'll be adding it to our egg mixture. 
All right, so on the same bowl where we mixed our milk and all the spices, it's all right. You can now put in the egg whites. So what we'll do is we'll actually have to froth up the egg whites first. Let me plug this in. Put that on the side. All right, so let's froth up the egg whites with the, the sugar and the salt. Put that in and then we'll froth it up. doubled its volume. Oopsie! Okay. <laughs> it just splattered all over. But I think we're gonna be fine. <laughs> we'll put it on low. And then we'll add in our yolks. And then we'll whisk it again. Give it a blitz. Just incorporate the honey. All right. So now we will have to add in our warm milk. We have to add it in slowly we cannot add it in like because uh, see it's really piping hot we'll add it in slowly so we don't cook we don't cook the egg and we would not have much of a curd so we'll we'll be blitzing it and then we'll add it in slowly all right you have added like half of the warm milk mixture we will now pour it into that this whole thing will be poured into our warm milk okay let's put it back on the stove and then we'll pull it in and cook the whole thing again all right so we place it on low right here and then we will pour in our egg mixture. We actually just put in our, like, gotten a few of the milk mixture because it was, it was hot. And then we just needed, we just needed it to, like, temper, temper the egg so it doesn't, um, like, we don't end up with scrambled eggs when we mix it in with our milk. Okay, so then we just need to cook this back on a low heat and then our eggnog will be ready. All right, so we have taken it off the heat. So it's really still hot, hot, hot. We just need to incorporate our vanilla in. That's our vanilla. And we just had to make sure that it gets mixed in very well. As you can see, it's very frothy. I mean, when I see other, when I see other eggnogs, it doesn't really look as frothy, but 
I guess this is how I'm making mine. <laughs> All right, so we just mix the vanilla in very well. As you can see, look at that. It's very frothy and it really is looking very yummy now. And if you can smell it here, oh my goodness. It really smells like Christmas. All right, so at this point, we will be mixing in our heavy cream. This is our heavy cream, we'll mix it in. And if you will notice, there's really a lot because we're making eggnogs for Like remember, we're making eggnogs three ways. So this, what we have here is, what you have here is your basic eggnog, okay? So if, uh, if you don't like um, liquor or alcohol in your eggnog, you can already stop here. This is already your eggnog. This is like basic eggnog recipe, all right? But, if you want to make an eggnog for the adults, of course, you will amp it up a bit with, of course, alcohol. And we have brandy over here. Whoop, look at that swirling. <laughs> All right. So with that, because it is still warm, we will let it cool down a little bit and then add in our brandy later on. All right, so as soon as it gets cooled a little bit, we'll pass it through a sieve just to make sure that we get rid of um, very, we might have had a bit of <laughs> uh, scrambled eggs or something. So we'll pass it through a sieve right here. Okay, so at this point, since this will be an adult eggnog, we'll be adding our brandy. That's our brandy in. We'll mix it in very well. And our eggnog is ready. This is, this is really going to be your basic eggnog. Like your, uh, if you want like a plain eggnog, plain and simple eggnog, this is already a plain eggnog. All right. So if you're good with that, you will stop there. However, since we promised to have eggnog three ways, we will be umping up a bit. But of course, we have to um, separate a little bit of our um, basic eggnog because some, of, some people would want just the basic eggnog, like the classic eggnog, okay? So we'll get a bit of it and then we'll set it aside and then we'll do the rest. Okay, so as you can see, I've already segregated like the classic eggnog right here. And our second one is with coffee, coffee lovers. So we have a bit of your eggnog mixture and then we'll put in your coffee. This is plain brewed coffee that we'll add into your eggnog. Let's fill this up a little bit because it's looking a little empty and a little lonely. A little bit! <laughs> okay, it's just enough. <laughs> okay, that is eggnog number two done. Let me just get a bit of tissue. We'll wipe it off and then we'll seal it in. The third one's gonna be a bit interesting because we have to put it back on the fire. Okay, let's go back to the stove. All right, so we're back on the heat on, this is just on low, just to heat it up a little bit. And then, which I forgot, we have to have actually, well, I'm using Lindor because this is what's available. And this is 70% dark chocolate for all you chocolate lovers out there. 
And this melts very easily, so we'll just put them in and then wait for the chocolate to melt. All right, all right, all right. That's three, maybe we can do five. We ended up finishing everything. <laughs> Let us just stir this a little bit. Well, it's already heated up and Lindor really melts easily and you can see that is like the most decadent chocolate eggnog you will ever have. Well, it's Lindor. <laughs> All right, so we'll just let this cool down a little bit and then we'll put it on its container. See you in a bit. Alrighty, so here are our eggnogs. And as you can see, they're now starting to settle down. Like all the sediments and all the froth is now settling down. So I don't know if it comes across on camera like the color, but this is our classic eggnog. And then here we have our coffee eggnog. And then here we have our dark chocolate eggnog. All right. So, we'll just put it in the refrigerator for a minimum of two hours and then we are ready to enjoy our eggnogs. Alrighty, so here are our eggnogs and this has been chilling in the refrigerator for quite a while. So we have your chocolate, you have your coffee, and you have your plain or your classic eggnog. And since these are chilled, I want to serve them on a shot glass because at least it won't be too rich or too much and then with your classic eggnog I would like to garnish that with a little bit of nutmeg and then the coffee eggnog right here of course we garnish it with a bit of coffee on top And then your chocolate eggnog. Oops. See, it's like um, a curd now or something. This is a bit thick, I guess, because of the chocolate. Okay, so that is your chocolate eggnog. And of course, we garnish that with a little bit of cocoa powder. All right, let's try these eggnogs and see how it goes. All righty, so here we are with my brother from another mother. I think you've been seeing him for quite a while and he should start his own vlog, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, he will be trying out the eggnogs that I made. Hopefully, this is a successful one. <laughs> Okay, so first I will let him try the classic eggnog. So if, if you just want to take half of it, it's fine. So at least, I mean, I don't know if you want to take whole, go ahead. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Let's see um, how is the reaction. <laughs> go. <laughs> I can really hear him swallowing the eggnog. <laughs> so, classic verdict is. It's really good. It's good, 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 good. I'd like. I'd take this again. Ah, okay, let's do coffee. I know you don't do coffee that much, but. Let's see how the coffee eggnog is now that you've already tasted the classic one. No. It's really good. With coffee. Even though I'm not a coffee lover, it's really good. But with coffee? With or, coffee. So between the two, the classic and the coffee? This 
Like, I'm doing something good here. <laughs> I'm converting people here. <laughs> Conversion. <laughs> okay, last but not the least, of course, is our chocolate, which I think nobody would not like because this is chocolate unless you really hate chocolate, but... Well, <laughs> it's thicker. Okay. Uh, because of, I think it's because of the chocolate and the other one, the coffee one. The coffee was a little bit of a thinner consistency that we added, and then this coffee, this chocolate is really like whole chocolate, and we didn't. We didn't like thin it out with anything, so I guess this will be a little thicker. This will be a bit like a, th a very thin custard or something. A thin chocolate custard. He's going for it, guys. <laughs> Till the last drop, guys. <laughs> the chocolate is good. So between the three, um, classic, coffee, or chocolate eggnog? Oh my god! You. I mean, normally I'd prefer chocolate because I, you know, I'm, I love hot chocolate. But coming from a non-coffee lover, I I dig the coffee. So it it has given it a bit of, of a good. difference yes. compared to the classic one. Yes. Ooh, so there you go, guys. With my big zit on my head. I hope that you did like our eggnog video. And of course, if you did like this video, don't forget to click on the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to share, 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 you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow for another Vlogmas. Bye!